April 16th, 2007 started as just a normal day. That morning I was gonna go to class at Virginia Tech, I was a junior, and in the afternoon, I was gonna watch reruns of the OC and Grey's Anatomy with my roommates. I had just turned 21 and there were three weeks left to the semester. So I wanted to make sure we, got, we checked out all the new spots downtown before we had to go home for the summer. I went to my first class that morning and there was about 15 minutes left when I heard these loud popping sounds coming from the hallway. My teaching assistant and my classmate went out into the hallway to see what was going on. They come back in and they say, guns, there's a man with guns in the hallway. And my classmate slams the door. We built a barricade, we took desks and chairs and we put them ag up against the door. So when the shooter came to the door, we pushed back. And he would push the door open and we would push it back. And he shot through a couple times and we just laid there on the ground. I was wedged in between the ground, in between the door and the side of the room. When the police came and the shooting was over, we didn't open the door. We waited because we weren't sure what was going on. Half an hour passed and we opened the door. And I remember thinking, on the other side of this door, someone's going to have guns and they're either here to harm us or they're here to help us. And thankfully they're here to help us. I hadn't prepared myself when I walked out of that hallway what I was going to see. And when I walked down the hallway, I peeked into classrooms where this shooter had successfully entered. And I saw people just in their seats, having no time with their heads on their desks. The next day was filled with candlelight vigils and moments of silence. There was a community picnic and the American flag was, stung, was at half mast. I went home for the summer and four months later I returned to Virginia Tech. I hated returning to Virginia Tech. The school that everyone loved, I hated. I hated being in Blacksburg. I hated going to class. Everyone else was partying and having fun and I felt like I didn't fit in. And when I sat in the classroom, extreme anxiety came over me. I would constantly look at the door looking for unusual people in the hallway. And the anxiety was outside of the classroom too. When I'd go to the gym and someone would drop a weight, that loud banging sound, I would just have extreme tenseness and want to run. When I, when I first heard fireworks, I remember being so scared while everyone else was celebrating. Oh, sorry. But I continued getting by. And fast forward eight years later, I was married to my high school sweetheart. I was working in the Pentagon in the office of the Secretary of Defense office. And during that time, during those eight years, I kept running because I didn't have to deal with anxiety, so I just started running. And I started running 5Ks and 10Ks, but then I was running marathons. And what I, what I realized is I was running from my feelings. I didn't have any tools in my toolbox to deal with what had happened. So my husband and I are trying to start a family. I think the saying goes, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby and a baby carriage. Well, when you're not treating your body right, you won't get a menstrual cycle, and that was happening to me. So I went to a fertility doctor to figure it out. But after that first time seeing him, I thought, this isn't right. I, th I think I can fix this. And so I switched and I started going to a counselor. And the first session with my counselor, I told her a little bit about myself and maybe about one sentence that I was in this shooting, but you know, we're not gonna go there. This eating disorder is not about that and I'm gonna own it, so um, let's just move on. A couple sessions later, she finally tapped into that and I found myself bawling in her office because years of bottled up anxiety and fear and loneliness had started to come out. And it felt so good. Three months later, I found myself crying in the bathroom. But these were happy tears. I had gotten my period back for the first time in eight years. A couple months later, I got pregnant. 
and nine months later, I had a baby girl. On October 16th, on October 8th, Grace Marie was born. Thank you.